Hello and welcome to another exciting edition of Where Great Things Happen. I will be your host for this program today, and my name is Van Erickson, but along with our other primary host is Dr. Webb, the president of the university. And today we have a very special guest with us, Mr. Bill Brent. He's the director of the School of Creative and Performing Arts, and he has done amazing things here with his time. So thank you for being here today, Dr. or Mr. Bill Brent. <laughs> That's my pleasure. Thanks for asking me. Um, today we just want to get into um, the things, what, what really makes the Creative and Performing Arts Department tick. You know, there's so many aspects that are involved with it. So just to start off, you know, what is Creative and Performing Arts, if you had to give a basic definition of it? Well, the, the School of Creative and Performing Arts, as you say, is uh, many different aspects of it. And uh, what makes it tick, uh, obviously, are the, is the strength of our faculty and the energy of our students as well. And uh, it goes together and combines to uh, produce a really terrific product in our productions um, and uh, in the exhibitions in the art galleries. Um, concerts, student recitals. Uh, it's, it's just a collaboration of everyone working together to produce a really fine product. Right, and, and there's so much student involvement in the Creative Performing Arts Department. And we're, we're gonna get into the minor departments later in, in the show. But um, where, where do some of these students come from? Because I hear they come from abroad, like different countries, continents. Right, well we have a lot of students, obviously nearly 400 majors. Um, out of that, the last time I checked, uh, there were 12 or 13 states represented wow. um, and then beyond that we have a number of foreign countries we have some from the uh, former Eastern Bloc countries uh, of Europe we have students from Central America we have some students from Mexico uh, we have a student currently from Japan um, we had a student who just graduated from Korea wow. so um, sounds to me like the words getting out and uh, our faculty are doing a trem tremendous job of recruiting and attracting really quality students to the program from around the world right and and Dr. Webb, I mean, this, this drawing of students coming from everywhere, I mean, is, isn't that great for Northwestern? Well, it just fits in with our multicultural approach because it affords our students and our faculty to interact with people from not just uh, this area of the state of Louisiana, but throughout the state of Louisiana, East Texas, obviously a number of other states, and even foreign countries. It just adds to the richness of the educational and cultural experience of being involved at Northwestern. Right. And, you know, um, a, a lot of people don't know what goes on in the Creative and Performing Arts Department. You know, um, what, what sets CAPA apart from all the other departments on campus? Well, I think um, as far as the academic units go, we're probably the most visible. Um, uh, you know, not a whole lot of people are going to be coming up to campus to uh, uh, observe a lecture in a particular academic unit or something like that. Maybe they should, but they're probably not. Uh, but in our situation where there's hardly a night uh, that there's not lights up on something, whether it's the recital, Miguel Recital Hall stage or whether it's the main stage or the, um, the Theater West, um, art gallery exhibitions, um, student recitals start this time of the year especially start at four o'clock and it's not unusual for us to have a recital at four o'clock another one at five o'clock another one at six o'clock and then some type of an event at 7 30 that evening um, that it's just the intensity as you build from the beginning of the semester towards the end of the semester of students obviously finishing up their academic work um, so I think that really sets us apart plus it, it provides us an opportunity to uh, publicize uh, our events and which brings uh, hopefully a lot of, of positive um, attention to the university and uh, speaks well for what happens here all across campus at Northwestern. Right, and, and you speak a lot about the, the involvement of all these students. I mean, they're, every, every time I see any student in Kappa, they are going nonstop. And that's amazing because their GPAs are, it speaks for themselves because, I mean, they're three, five on up. Uh, we have one of the highest grade point averages across campus. Um, and I think it does speak really well for our students. Uh, uh, you know, many of our theater students, to use as an example, um, they're in classes all during the day and they'll have a call for rehearsals starting in the evening at 6.30. They'll run up until 10 o'clock at night. Then um, they've got to find time to study. And uh, for the last several years, um, our graduating senior class out of the theater program has had one of the, the highest uh, grade point averages on campus. Wow. And that, that speaks for itself, don't, don't you think? Oh, I think so. And when you take into consideration the fact that at least in some sectors, 
of the creative and performing arts, notably the spirit of Northwestern Marching Band, of which we're all so proud, you see that actually the majority of uh, the students major in uh, fields of study outside the creative and performing arts. And that just adds to it all from my perspective because I just I think it's wonderful if you, you can have a student in the marching band who may also be in engineering technology or who may be in computer information systems or, or some other academic discipline in the university. That just uh, makes the entire school of creative and performing arts that much stronger within itself, but far stronger outside of itself. Right, and, and you bring up a, a lot of good points. There's so much involved with, with CAFA itself, and you mentioned the spirit of Northwestern. So with that, let's, let's start talking about the, the music department of it. You know, there's so much comprised of it. Spirit of Northwestern, the jazz ensembles, um, you know, what, what can students get involved in in the music department bes besides the spirit of Northwestern and the other things? Well, uh, obviously all of our uh, major ensembles, uh, you mentioned the course of marching band, which splits into the four concert bands in the spring semester. Most folks think that, well, the marching band's over with, football season's over with, the, those kids, what do they do in the spring? Well, we have four concert bands that the kids play. Wow. In and uh, give a series of concerts both on campus and off campus, uh, off campus in a, an attempt for recruiting those sorts of things. Uh, then our jazz ensemble, um, that program has really grown over uh, the last few years. As a matter of fact, they're going to, to be performing this year in Lake Charles right at the end of the semester with, um, I forget the name of the large festival they have down in the Lake Charles area in the spring year, but they'll be performing down there um, with, again, with a whole lot of high school groups and a few college groups, but again, it's an effort for us to recruit. <coughs> then I don't want to forget the uh, Natchitoches Northwestern Symphony Orchestra, uh, which is, uh, when I first came here, um, most of the wind players were Northwestern students, but nearly all of the string players were uh, hired out of the Shreveport Symphony, Alexandria Symphony, um, uh, Monroe, and that sort of, and so there was a lot of money going out of the community. And we've been able over the period of years to redirect the money that was going out of the community to pay those professional string, string people to come here, redirect those funds into scholarships for string students, get the right people in place on the faculty to uh, attract those students to campus, and uh, now those funds stay in that condition and promote scholarships on campus. But the really wonderful thing about all of that that I just mentioned is the fact that you don't have to be a music major to participate. And you can still earn a scholarship if your talent is uh, to the point that it can be utilized in the ensembles. You can earn a scholarship and perform in the ensembles and be a part of something really great here on campus and contribute back to the university and the community. And uh, I look at it as a way, especially for our non-majors, non as a part of the service learning aspect of things in that it, 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 uh, you're, you have a talent, you use that to serve the community by performing in different ensembles. So I would encourage any of our students, we have choirs, we have four choirs, I can forget those. One of the choirs just got back from London yesterday wow. and they were there all, over, all of spring break, <laughs> got a series of concerts all over southern England and uh, I've even had a couple of emails from total strangers about how wonderful the choir was and um, one gentleman invited Dr. Allen uh, we'll bring the choir back to England. Uh, most unique sound we've heard. And um, so uh, for all of our students on, on campus, regardless of their academic major, uh, there's a place for them in Kappa if they want to come by and audition and, and see if we can't work out something. Well, and you heard it here. We've heard so much about the music department in Kappa. But when we come back, we'll talk about more in depth in the music department as well as other departments and honors that these departments have won. So remember, you're watching Where Great Things Happen, and I'm your host, Van Erickson. 